My name is Harry Baker, Harry Baker is my name. If your name was Harry Baker, then our names would be the same. It's <laughs> a short introductory poem. That was the first poem that I wrote, and it was for a uh, prime number themed poetry night, uh, <laughs> which turned out to be a prime number themed poetry competition. Uh, and I became a prime number themed poetry competition winner, or as I like to call it, a prime minister. And uh, this is how I discovered these things called poetry slams. Poetry slams. Poetry slams. Poetry slams. Poetry slams. Um, and if you, if you win a poetry slam, you can call yourself a slam champion. Slam champion. And pretend you're a wrestler. What I meant is each performer got three minutes uh, to perform, and then random audience members would hold up scorecards, and they'd end up with a numerical score. And what this meant is it kind of broke down the barrier between performer and audience. And if you lose the poetry slam, you can say, Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Poetry is a subjective art form. You can't put numbers on such things. But I loved it. And I got involved in these slams, and I became the UK slam champion and got invited to the Poetry World Cup uh, in Paris, which was unbelievable. It was people from all around the world speaking in their native languages to be judged by five French strangers. And somehow I won. Uh, which was great, um, but it also means that this next piece is, is technically the best poem in the world. Uh, so, um, uh, according to five French strangers. Um, so this is uh, Paper People. I like people. I'd like some paper people. They'd be purple paper people, maybe pop-up purple paper people, proper pop-up purple paper people. How do you prop up proper pop-up purple paper people? I hear you cry. <laughs> well, I... I probably prop up proper pop-up purple paper people with a proper pop-up purple people paper clip, but I pre-prepare appropriate adhesives as alternative to a cheeky packet, which is a gift of paper slipped, because I could build a pop-up metropolis. But I wouldn't want to deal with all those paper people politics, paper politicians with their paper thin policies, broken promises that are appropriate apologies. There'd be a little paper me and a little paper you. And we could watch paper TV and it would all be paper view. <laughs> We'd see those poppy paper wrappers rub about the paper package or watch paper people carriers get stuck in paper traffic on the A4. <laughs> paper. There'd be a paper princess Kate but we'd all stare at Paper Pippa. <laughs> and we'd all live in fear of Killer Jack the Paper Ripper. <laughs> because the paper propaganda propagates the people's prejudices. Papers printing pictures of the footage and the terrorists. It's a little paper me and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. There'd be that pompous paper parliament who remained out of touch and who ignored the people's protests about all the paper cuts. And then the peaceful paper protests would get blown to paper pieces by the confetti cannons by the preemptive police. And yes, there'd still be paper money. So there'll still be paper greed. And the paper piggy bankers pockets in one, then they need purchasing in the pulp read to pepper their paper properties. Others live in poverty and ain't acknowledged properly. A proper poor economy with so many a proper poor. But why do need to get ignored? The money goes to big wars. Origami armies unfold plans for paper planes. And we remain in prison in our own paper chains. But the greater shame is that it always seems to stay the same. What changes is who's in power, choosing how to lay the blame, then naming names, forgetting these are names of people. Because in the end, it all comes down to people. I like people. Because even when the situation is dire, it is only ever people who are able to inspire. And on paper, it's hard to see how we all cope. But in the bottom of Pandora's box, there's still hope. And I still hope because I believe in people. People like my grandparents, who every single day since I was born have taken time out of their morning to pray for me. That's 7,892 days straight of someone checking I'm OK. And that's amazing. People like my aunt who put some plays with prisoners. People who are capable of genuine forgiveness. People like the persecuted Palestinians. People got out of their way to make your life better and expect nothing in return. You see, people have potential to be powerful. Just because the people in power tend to pretend to be victims when they to succumb to that system. And a paper population is no different. So there's a little paper me and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. But if the whole world fell apart, then we still make it through. Because we're people. Thank you.